Hey guys, welcome back. This is Adrian Boysell. Got a great Wisdom Wednesday episode for you today. Something that I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time and it's actually going to be in my master class. So we're gonna jump into it real quick. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys today about lead generation. That is a really big word that's been growing and growing in the industry of digital marketing for the last decade. And it's at probably its peak in popularity that it's ever been. And there's a lot of companies out there talking about lead generation, but there's not a lot of clarity about how that actually works. So what I'm gonna to do to you, with you guys today, so what I'm gonna do with you guys today is kind of take you through and show you how lead generation works from my perspective. So I got my whiteboard here. And what we're gonna talk about first is property. So number one on the how-to of lead generation, it's property. So what you need to do first, if you wanna generate leads, you have to build a property. And what I mean by property, that's either going to be a landing page or a website. Typically, and the preferred method for what we do in lead generation is we do both. We do a landing page and we do a website. And how the website works, we'll do that first, is we actually build a website that has unique and authoritative content. And what I mean by unique and authoritative content is uniquely written content that nobody else has ever written. You're not copying and pasting from other people's websites. This is out of your own mind and your own brain. We take that content, we write it specifically for your niche and for your business with the right keywords in there that are actually gonna help you rank and show up at the top of the search engines. That's a really, really big deal. When it comes to landing pages, you are going to drive traffic to that landing page through paid advertising methods. Whether that's a Facebook ad, a Google ad, an Instagram ad, LinkedIn, whatever that is, you're gonna send your visitors through a channel of paid advertising. That's how that's gonna work. And with the websites, you're gonna send them through organic traffic or what some call SEO. So you're gonna build this property with content. And what I mean by content, there's going to be media like written content, you're going to have video content, you're gonna have graphic content, so maybe you have an infographic, right? You have written content, you have video content, and you have graphic content. Those are three huge parts of content writing and content creation that we help business owners with every single day, okay? So you have your property that you build that has a lot of great keywords, a lot of great images, a lot of great videos, really good content. It can even be audio content. That's another thing that people are putting on their websites nowadays. That's what you need to rank organically. And you need to create lots of that content. There's blogging articles, there's all kinds of written content that you can put on your website to help drive traffic back to you. Now what happens is when you build this property, you're going to build it with all these keywords in mind and with all this content in mind. Now what you're going to need to do is number two, is you're going to need to know how to position your property. And what I mean by position is actually showing up on the search engines, whether it's organically or in paid, you're going to show up in places where your customers and your target audience is actually at, where they have visited. So that might be Facebook, that might be Instagram, that might be LinkedIn, and that might be Google. For me, if I'm doing organic rankings, I'm focused in on Google. 97% of search engines or 97% of searches that happen online when people are looking for information are happening on Google search. So I want to show up for my content on a Google search. If I have a good ranking and I have sites that are pointing back to my site that have authority and I've been mentioned online, whether it's social media, on other websites or even local in my community and people have tagged me or tagged my business, that's going to help me build authority to my website organically. That's a very big deal in terms of showing up and driving in leads. As you continue to do that, your business is going to start to rank and actually show up rather than being on, you have all these pages, right? Four, five, rather than showing up on page five initially, then you're gonna move to page four, then three, then two, and then within each of these pages, you have ranks. So you have one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So it's running out of room here. But you can see here, you have position one, position two, position three, position four, position five. On each of these pages, you have 10 positions organically that you can show up on. So my strategy for lead generation, since I've been doing this for such a long time, is to have two methods. I want my organic approach with my content and my written graphics, 
and then I want my paid advertising approach. So when people do search on Google for the keywords that I should be coming up for, I have a paid ad. So we're going to put paid ad up here. I have a paid ad, right? There's a paid ad section of Google ads. Then you're going to have your maps. This is also an organic. I'm going to put a little, little US, little draw this little US thing here. There we go. It doesn't really look like the US. And then you have, so you have your map listings and with all your competitors, and then you have your organic, right? And this is where the one through 10 happens. And then typically nowadays you have more ads here at the bottom. So my strategy is I want to be in these paid ads at least once. Then I want to be in these maps organically. Then I want to be in the maps with a little star here for a paid ad. Then I want to be organically at least once, if not twice in here for that one specific keyword. With that type of positioning online and putting yourself at the forefront and being on, on there one, two, three, four, and potentially five times, that's gonna give you a way higher chance of generating the lead, generating the traffic, and generating the business back to your website. And then from there, it's actually making sure that that website, again, is relevant to the content that you've created, the video content, the graphic content, all that content needs to match up with what your ads are. It's very, very important. All right. So now the third and the most important piece of this, well, they're all important, but this is the, the key because you can do all this work, but if at the end of the day, you're not making any money, what good was it? So what you have to do is you're going to have to figure out whatever the lead industry that you're in, let's just say that you're in septic, right? So you're in the septic space. Okay. The average septic owner is looking for deal septic construction company or engineering company or design company is going to be acquiring a deal. And that deal is going to be worth a minimum of $5,000. Okay. That's a $5,000 ticket. We're going to say, okay. Now through that $5,000 ticket, they have a budget, a marketing budget of what they're going to be willing to spend to acquire that customer. For me, what I usually tell clients is anywhere between 10 and 15% is a realistic budget. So if I have a $5,000 customer, I'm going to be spending between 500 and $750 to generate that customer. Now keep in mind, every lead that you bring in is not going to become a customer. So we're talking about final landed customer acquisition cost. So if you want to actually land a customer for 500 to $700, you got to do the math. So if I'm going to create a Google ad or an organic ad and I send somebody to my website or to my landing page, and let's just say I get 10 visitors to my website. Okay. 10 visitors. And out of every 10 visitors I get, I'm converting one lead. Okay. Now each one of those leads, each one of those visitors, whether it's, if it's organically, it doesn't cost you anything other than the time that you spent to create the content and rank the site. But if it's a paid ad, let's just give an example. If it's a paid ad and it costs you $10 for each one of those clicks, right? That goes to your site. Now you have 10 clicks. That's going to cost you a hundred dollars to generate that lead. Now let's just say your closing ratio is 20%. So you have a hundred dollars times five, uh, let's just say you're, you're sending 10 leads. So you have a hundred leads that are coming into your website or 10 leads. You're spending a hundred dollars. Now you close 20%. That's actually going to cost you $500 for that customer acquisition. So what you need to be at is about a $10 click. You need to convert at least one out of 10 and you need to close at least 20% in order for you to hit that, that $500 mark. If you're closing at a lower ratio, that's where this cost is going to go up. As a lead generator, my responsibility is to bring you the lead. Outside of that, your job is to convert that lead and close it if you're a business owner, my client or a business owner. So that, in a very quick nutshell, is how lead generation works. There are some other strategies and other approaches that you can take to it that I have implemented even myself. Aside from paid advertising, I do a lot of stuff with YouTube. I do a lot of event geofencing. There's other strategies of driving the traffic to your website and some are more cost effective than others. But that is really the overall real quick snapshot of how lead generation works. So if you guys have any questions about lead generation, you want to talk to me about it. I'd love to chat. This is what I do every single day. This is my big mission for 2020. We're building over a thousand websites over the next three years in just the lead generation space alone. So love to talk to you guys more about it. Definitely drop a comment. I'm all about criticism and feedback and getting better. So don't be afraid to reach out to me. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And as always, Keep looking up.